at this moment, just focus in the middle of your chest. Imagine there's an opening in the middle of your chest. And that even though you're breathing in and out of your nose, your mouth, necessary oxygen, etc., with each in breath, in through this hole in your chest, you are drawing something very subtle not even on the physical plane. It's been called soma. It's been called elixir. It's been called ambrosia. It's been called pran. It's been called living spirit. Think of it as a very fine mist. With each breath, draw it into the middle of your chest and let it pour through your body to the extremities, to the tips of your fingers, to the tips of your toes, through your torso, your head. And then in the out breath, when you're breathing out through the center of your chest, any stuff in you that is keeping you from being with the universe, the tensions, the fears, the negativity, the doubt, the grudges, the anger, the loneliness, the self-pity. Breathe it out, just breathe it out. Let it go on the out breath. And then fill once again with this healing, very fine mist and let it pour through your body and let the as it pours through your body, let it dislodge the tensions that may have settled in your back or in your stomach. The heavy thoughts, thoughts of paranoia, the feelings of inadequacy, of doubt, the judging mind, just let it all be loosened, dislodged, and on the out-breath, breathe it out. Make the breath slow, and deep and keep that imagery very strongly in mind that you are drawing in a very fine mist filling your being and then releasing all of the stuff you don't need to be in the spirit If there's a great sadness in you, just let it go. Breathe it out. You don't need it. If there's anger, hurt, if you've been hurt, if you have pain, 
Don't demand that it go away. You might breathe it out. You'll still feel sadness. It may be such a deep reservoir of sadness, but just what you can let go of, let go of. And then fill with this very fine healing mist. quietly with your eyes closed and just listen to me for a moment. Imagine now that out before you is all of the universe of form. All of the world as you hear it, see it, smell it, taste it, and know it, including yourself. Now imagine that at the top of the head you also have a hole, an opening, and that above your head is the formless out of which form comes. There is no form, it's God unmanifest, it's the unspoken, it's the void, it's it's the one. Now, you will breathe in through your chest when I tell you, suggest you do, just listen now. Drawing the universe into your heart, the middle of your chest, and you will breathe out through the top of your head, going out with your breath, go up with your breath and go back into the formless. And then on the next in-breath, draw the formless down into your heart. And then with the out-breath, breathe it out through your heart and recreate the forms which our spirit made manifest. Then with the in-breath, draw it back into your heart. Breathe out through the top of your head going up till you are resting above your head, then draw your the breath in, come back down into your heart, and then manifest out into the world. So it's in, up, out, down, in, out. Okay? Do that for a few minutes now. Start very slow, deep breathing. So you keep going between form and formless, between the one and the many.
keeping your eyes closed, remain resting in the middle of your chest and listen to me for one moment longer. Now that you have released what you can of your those things which keep you from being a pure instrument for the transmission of spirit. And now that you have learned how to draw the spirit through you, you will find yourself in situation after situation where when you look out on the world, you see suffering. Maybe it's somebody you love that's suffering. The suffering might be physical, it might be psychological, it might be spiritual. It might be somebody that's a political prisoner, somebody that's starving or dying of cancer, or just lost in depression, or caught with drugs, or caught in a painful violence. Whoever comes to mind, bring their image before you, standing or sitting or being out in front. With your breath, go up above your head, letting yourself go out through your top of your head. Again, bring that fine mist, that spirit down through the top of your head, the formless, down into your heart. And then on the out breath, send it out, keeping that being in mind. And with your mind imagining, surrounding that being with light. That is peace. That is healing. That is love. That is spacious. go back up into the formless until that is just pouring through your heart and out and surrounding that being or those beings. anybody towards whom you feel anger that you would like to find the deeper space, bring that person before you. And through this light or this love, see that being in a deeper way. Let your heart open in this process. Keep going back up into the formless where you are the one and then come back and allow the spirit to come through you to manifest as a healing force. The thought is not that I demand this person be healed of their suffering, but rather if it be in the way of things, let there be healing. Not my, but thy will. And if it is you that is suffering and in pain, imagine yourself standing or sitting before yourself. 
and surround that being with that same golden light of love, of peace, of space, of compassion. Open your heart a little wider. What more can you do for the world than become a conduit for the living spirit to be manifest? Experience just how much you actually do love the universe. All the forms coming before your eye as you go back into the one and come back into the many. See how precious all the forms are. Just come back and rest in your heart. Open your eyes and relax. Stretch. Hmm. 